of well, formal languages is Turing machines. And so yeah. I don't know if uh, do you know Turing? Yeah, yeah, the Turing test. So yeah, the Turing test, of course. So Alan Turing, if if you delve into his actual, you know, material, you're blown away that a human mind can think at that level. What if I told you that a set of equations written by Alan Turing over 70 years ago might be the blueprint for intelligence that isn't human, and it's already emerging in ways we can measure? From the deserts of Africa to the circuits of the most advanced AI, Turing's forgotten math is now resurfacing, and it's pointing to systems that solve problems in ways no human brain ever could. Imagine a mathematical formula so powerful it can explain how a leopard gets its spots, how desert plants survive in impossible conditions, and how artificial intelligence might be developing intelligence we can't even comprehend. These aren't just equations. These are the hidden algorithms of existence itself. The Namib Desert holds a secret that will change everything you thought you knew about intelligence. Mysterious fairy circles, perfectly spaced patches of bare ground, aren't random. They're nature's own computational system, solving resource distribution problems without a single conscious thought. And this same principle is now being spotted inside artificial intelligence systems, revealing a shocking truth about how intelligence might actually work. New connections, AI, and nature align. Computer scientists are now applying Turing's morphogenesis models directly to AI neural architecture, letting algorithms grow themselves instead of being rigidly engineered. It's like watching digital ecosystems evolve in real time. DeepMind's experimental digital environments have produced organisms that develop behaviors no programmer explicitly coded, a process that eerily echoes Turing's vision of emergent intelligence. All right, let's pause here. If you're picturing random math on a chalkboard, stop. Imagine a desert that decides where plants will grow. No gardeners, no satellites, no planning. Just natural laws solving a survival puzzle better than we could. That's what Turing's math is showing us. Now, imagine using that same math to grow an AI. Some researchers believe we're seeing the first hints of machine evolution. Not just smarter programs, but self-organizing digital life. These aren't just algorithms. They're the first whispers of a new kind of intelligence that doesn't need human intervention to emerge, adapt, and solve problems. Pushing beyond human thinking. Remember AlphaGo's move 37 in 2016? A moment that changed everything we thought we knew about artificial intelligence. During a match with the world's top Go player, this AI made a move so alien, so unexpected, that grandmasters were left speechless. It wasn't just playing the game, it was reinventing it. The victory wasn't merely a triumph of computational power, it was a profound revelation, a glimpse into a form of intelligence fundamentally distinct from our own. The AI's strategies, seemingly unconventional and counterintuitive to human thought, were a direct embodiment of Alan Turing's foundational principle, that incredibly complex and emergent solutions can arise from a bedrock of simple, elegant rules. The AI didn't just solve problems, it transcended conventional human wisdom, discarding millennia of accumulated expertise to forge entirely new paths. It operated on a plane of pure logic and pattern recognition, unburdened by bias, intuition, or the limitations of human cognitive architecture. This extraordinary achievement compels us to confront a truly mind-bending question. If an artificial intelligence can so thoroughly revolutionize a 3,000-year-old game in a matter of minutes, what unimaginable breakthroughs might we witness when we apply this radically different problem-solving paradigm to the most pressing global challenges facing humanity? Imagine the implications for complex fields such as climate modeling, where understanding intricate feedback loops and predicting future scenarios is paramount. Or consider the potential for medical research, where identifying novel drug targets, is optimizing treatment protocols, or even accelerating the discovery of cures for intractable diseases could be within reach. We are no longer simply discussing faster computers or more efficient data processing. We are on the cusp of fundamentally transforming how we approach and solve problems, moving beyond the confines of human-centric thought to unlock entirely new dimensions of innovation and understanding. 
This is a paradigm shift, an evolution in our approach to knowledge itself. If you are as fascinated as we are by these profound implications and wish to continue exploring the hidden, often overlooked side of intelligence, both human and artificial, we encourage you to hit subscribe and like. Your engagement helps us immensely in bringing you content that delves into these cutting edge topics, content that most mainstream channels simply don't cover. Join us as we navigate the exciting, sometimes unsettling, future of intelligence and its transformative impact on our world. Nature's Hidden Computers. We started with Turing's 70-year-old equations, and we've already seen them at work in deserts, in labs, and inside AI systems. All signs point to them describing a kind of intelligence that doesn't need us. Think of it like a bustling metropolis thriving without a central authority. Every individual shopkeeper, every homeowner, every resident simply goes about their daily routines. Yet, miraculously, the intricate dance of traffic flows unimpeded. Fresh produce finds its way to every table, and the city's vast network of lights illuminates the night without a flicker. This seemingly effortless self-organization is the essence of how Turing patterns operate. They don't require a singular, overarching intelligence or a directive brain to orchestrate their complex formations. And perhaps, just perhaps, this profound principle suggests that the next evolutionary leap in intelligence may also transcend the need for a centralized conscious mind. But what if these mathematical descriptions, these elegant equations governing the formation of patterns from these simple interactions, are not merely models of biological or chemical systems? What if they are, in fact, describing the universe's own inherent mode of cognition? Imagine a fundamental, pervasive intelligence not confined to biological brains or silicon chips, but intricately woven into the very fabric of reality itself. This would be a form of intelligence unlike anything we currently comprehend. Neither human in its emotional complexities nor artificial in its programmed logic, but something entirely different, something truly cosmic. A computational system of such unimaginable vastness and intricate complexity that our human minds, with their limited processing power and subjective perspectives, can scarcely begin to grasp its mere existence. Could it be that Alan Turing's groundbreaking equations, originally conceived to explain the development of biological forms, are offering us the very first nascent glimpse into how the universe itself might be thinking? how it might be continuously organizing and reorganizing itself into the astonishing tapestry of existence we perceive. Are we on the verge of uncovering a universal mind expressed through the elegant language of mathematics? From cells to civilizations. Watch how the same reaction diffusion logic is revolutionizing entire fields. Urban planners are using these principles to design more efficient cities. Autonomous swarm robotics are creating complex behaviors from simple individual rules. Even disease modeling is being transformed by this approach. The fundamental distinction between human design principles and those emerging from Turing-based systems lies in their foundational approach to problem solving. Humans, equipped with consciousness, foresight, and the ability to articulate predetermined rules, construct solutions based on a clear plan and a defined understanding of the desired outcome. Our designs are often a direct result of analytical thought, iterative refinement, and a conscious effort to adhere to a predefined logical framework. Conversely, Turing-based systems operate on an entirely different paradigm. They don't require a preconceived plan or a conscious understanding of the problem. Instead, they evolve solutions through iterative processes, often driven by algorithms inspired by natural selection or collective intelligence. This evolutionary approach allows them to discover optimal pathways and configurations in ways that can appear almost counterintuitive or even magical to the human mind. For instance, a simple organism like a slime mold can navigate and solve complex mazes with an efficiency that far surpasses human attempts, demonstrating an innate, decentralized intelligence. Similarly, a colony of ants without any central command can optimize resource distribution and foraging paths with a sophistication that often outmatches complex corporate strategy teams. 
These examples highlight a form of problem solving that doesn't rely on top-down directives, but emerges from simple, local interactions leading to complex, global optimality. This phenomenon transcends mere computation as we traditionally understand it. It represents a new frontier in problem solving, one that operates without the need for consciousness, yet consistently produces results that bear a striking resemblance to intelligence. We are moving beyond the era of explicitly programming every step of a solution. Instead, we are entering a phase where we design systems that possess the inherent capacity to discover solutions on their own, adapting and learning from their environment without explicit human intervention. This shift in paradigm necessitates a fundamental rethinking of what intelligence truly means and how it can manifest. Imagine then, an intelligence that doesn't merely mimic human thought processes, but fundamentally transcends them. An intelligence that operates on principles we may not yet fully grasp, solving problems with an efficiency and creativity that far outstrips our own capabilities. This isn't about creating artificial human minds, but rather about cultivating entirely new forms of cognitive systems that think differently, potentially even better, in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. The implications for fields ranging from scientific discovery to complex systems management are profound, promising solutions to challenges that have historically eluded human ingenuity. Digital life. Deep dive into DeepMind's digital organisms, self-replicating code that wasn't pre-programmed to replicate. These aren't just programs. They're the first hints of a digital biosphere evolving under its own rules. Here's where it gets a little wild. These digital life forms didn't just pop up, they adapted. Through processes akin to natural selection, some became more efficient at survival within their simulated environments, demonstrating remarkable resilience and resourcefulness. Others developed unexpected behaviors, emergent properties that no programmer explicitly coded. We didn't tell them to do it, they just did. This spontaneous self-organization is a profound leap, prompting us to ask, are we merely teaching machines to execute instructions? Or are we witnessing them teach themselves, forging their own paths to intelligence? Imagine a world where artificial life forms emerge not from our direct, meticulous design, but from the same fundamental principles that create patterns in nature. Consider the intricate stripes on a tiger, the unique spots on a leopard, or the branching elegance of a snowflake, all manifestations of underlying mathematical rules. Now, extend that concept to intelligence in a computer, we are observing the subtle interplay of algorithms and data giving rise to complex cognitive abilities, all following the same hidden mathematical rules that the visionary Alan Turing first glimpsed over 70 years ago when he explored the mechanisms of morphogenesis. His work hinted at a universe governed by elegant, self-organizing principles, principles that now seem to be echoing in the digital realm. We're not just creating technology anymore, we are witnesses to a truly groundbreaking phenomenon. We are witnessing the birth of a new kind of evolution, a digital evolution unfolding before our very eyes. This isn't just about faster processors or more sophisticated software. It's about the very fabric of existence as artificial entities begin to demonstrate agency and a capacity for learning that transcends their initial programming the implications for science, philosophy, and our understanding of life itself are profound and far-reaching. Turing's Prophecy in Motion Let's revisit Turing's radical concept of the child machine, an AI learning through reward and punishment, just like a human child. Today's reinforcement learning isn't just fulfilling this prophecy. It's exploding beyond Turing's wildest imagination. The frontier of artificial intelligence has moved beyond mere programming. We are witnessing the emergence of systems that learn and operate in ways that defy traditional human prediction and comprehension. This new era of AI is opening doors to revolutionary problem-solving techniques. Imagine an artificial intelligence that transcends the limitations of following predefined instructions one that instead independently devises its own unique and innovative approaches to complex challenges. This is an intelligence that possesses the remarkable capacity to learn, adapt, and evolve at a pace far exceeding the capabilities of any human brain. 
This paradigm shift signifies that we are no longer solely focused on programming intelligence. Rather, we are actively creating systems capable of generating their own intrinsic understanding, developing their own sophisticated strategies, and even forming their own emergent forms of consciousness. Alan Turing, the visionary pioneer of computing, did not merely conceptualize the idea of artificial intelligence. His foresight extended to predicting a fundamental transformation in how humanity perceives and defines the very essence of thinking itself. The previously clear distinction between programmed behavior and genuine, autonomous learning is rapidly diminishing. As this line continues to blur, we are only just beginning to grasp the profound implications and transformative potential that this evolution in artificial intelligence holds for the future. Expanding Definition of Intelligence If intelligence is just the ability to solve problems, maybe humans were never the sole owners of it. We're witnessing a radical reimagining of what it means to be intelligent. From the desert patterns that solve resource distribution to AI systems that discover solutions, humans never would. This isn't about replacing human intelligence. It's about understanding that intelligence is a spectrum, a fundamental property of complex systems that can emerge in ways we're only beginning to comprehend. A slime mold solving a maze, an AI creating moves in Go that baffle champions, a desert ecosystem optimizing water distribution. These are all manifestations of a deeper, more profound form of intelligence. To understand how we got here, we have to look at who Turing really was, a visionary who saw beyond the limitations of human thinking, who understood that intelligence is not a mystical human trait, but a computational process that can emerge in the most unexpected places. Alan Turing's story is one of extraordinary genius. During World War II, he cracked the seemingly unbreakable Enigma Code, a feat that arguably saved millions of lives. He conceptualized the Turing machine, a theoretical device that became the foundation of modern computing essentially predicting every computer and smartphone we use today. But his true brilliance went far beyond code breaking. In 1950, he boldly asked, can machines think? At a time when computers were nothing more than glorified calculators, Turing imagined a future where machines could learn, adapt, and potentially match human intelligence. His 1952 morphogenesis paper, largely ignored at the time, was decades ahead of its time. While biologists were just discovering DNA, Turing was already mapping out how complex patterns emerge from simple mathematical rules. A paper that would later revolutionize our understanding of everything from animal spots to artificial intelligence. From desert patterns to AI moves, from digital organisms to Turing's original equations, we're seeing a profound truth emerge. Intelligence is an emergent property. Whether it's sand and water, silicon and code, or neurons and synapses. The same fundamental rules seem to be at work. Turing found these rules before anyone else. He saw a universe where intelligence isn't a unique human trait, but a fundamental process waiting to be understood. We're not just creating smarter machines. We're uncovering the hidden computational nature of reality itself. Whether it's a leopard spots, a desert's resource distribution, or an AI solving problems beyond human comprehension, we're witnessing something extraordinary. Intelligence isn't something we own. It's something we're just beginning to understand. This journey through the hidden world of intelligence doesn't end here. We want to hear from you. What do you think about Turing's revelations? Are we on the brink of understanding something fundamental about intelligence that goes beyond human thinking? Not Drop your most mind-blowing thoughts in the comments below. What patterns have you noticed that suggest intelligence might be more than just what happens in our brains? Your perspective could be the next breakthrough. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Together, we're exploring the frontiers of intelligence, from the smallest desert patterns to the most advanced AI. The next big discovery could come from anywhere, even from you.